Welcome to Road to Riot, the fastest racer in the world is going to be going against us two chumps. And you know what? We've actually got a chance. So I assume I'm giving some tutorial to like Corey no, or something? No, you're going to race Corey. You're gonna oh, I'm racing Corey. Okay, so I guess we're handicapping him then. So you don't think he has easy a money. chance? You don't think he has a chance of keeping up with you? No, not at all. It's going to be easy money. Where's the paycheck? Alex, what is this? Uh, it's some form of an XT60. Can I take this off? Oh, we got a fuse. Oh, I'll still beat him. <laughs> One of the differences between this and a throttle cap is going to be that with a throttle cap, if you hit the full throttle, it just stays there. Yeah. With this, if you exceed the limit, it's going to pop. The quad out of will the sky. fall out of the sky. Yeah, I think exactly. it's pretty cool, actually. So when it exceeds 10 amps, the quad's going to cut off. It's going to lose power to it. It's going to blow a fuse. How many amps does your quad typically pull when you're racing, like full throttle? Uh, full throttle will probably pull about 100, 120 amps on 6L. Generally Sa speaking, when I'm cruising, it's about 30 to 60 amps. 30 to 60 amps cruise. Safe to say you hit full throttle quite a lot. Yeah. What do you think is the lowest amperage fuse you could fly and still beat Corey? I'd say a 20 amp. Uh, that's gonna be hard. The, diff the, the hard thing is it's gonna be all about lines and not using the throttle. I think with racing experience uh, and like being able to learn a course quicker, I'll have that advantage early on. But once he starts getting laps in, that number might change. If 20 amps may not be enough, it may be up to 25 amps. But I think no matter what, at like 30, 40 amps, I'll be able to beat him. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start Alex high and we're gonna walk him down until you beat him. <laughs> we're gonna, beat we're gonna see how low, how, how, <laughs> low can he go and still beat you? We'll start him at 40 amps. Okay, we do know I've never raced before, right? You know what, so these are slow blow fuses. I was concerned about 40 amps too, but we tested this in the warehouse. There it is. And okay. these slow blow fuses, you're actually gonna get a little, you can go above 40 for like a second. It was like one Mississippi t blow. Can I plug it in? Is it gonna, you'll be fine, plug it in. So you got a little bit. Because it's it's so slow blow, so it just can't sustain 40. Okay, got it. But like quick burst, quick burst. Oh, I'm not even gonna need it. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, so in racing we like to use what's called a spotter. A spotter is really important for multiple reasons. It'll tell you while you're flying where all the other traffic is, sometimes how far ahead you are. That way you can know to slow down and not have to push. So I'm gonna bring in my good buddy, Mr. It Will Be Fun, and he's gonna be spotted for me. Perfect time to get some DJI goggles. <laughs> my name is Justin Skinner, one of the newer members of the Hype Train uh, racing team. I am Soren, Fat Kid FPV. With a PH. Um, yep. Here in Florida for Multi GP Nationals, been training with Alex. The biggest reason I want to spot her is if I'm way ahead of these guys, I don't want to blow the fuse. So they'll be able to tell me to slow down so that way I can fly really, really docile and carefully and not pull too many amps. Racers arm your quads in less than five. Beep. Is he not even using an amp meter? Nah. What He's a savage. Cruising right now. You should turn on an amp meter, man. I'll be one down for the bathroom. DQ! You're, you're, Bardo you're Moss Bardo, you're Corey done. Right, you. right now, Vanover is in the lead by about four seconds. This is it right here, final lap. Good. Going through the V, coming around the home stretch, and Woo. it's done. That's it. That's it. That's it. Easy money. Uh, I, was, I was not too far behind him. I think when yeah, he only four down, seconds. Yeah. I think once he goes down now, if he goes any slower than that, because I, I made a big mistake in the beginning. I started doing a bunch of, well, well didn't know where I was, went super high. You know, you have the faster quad. He can't go full throttle. So once you're in those straights, you need to take advantage of that and pin it. I'm not saying you should blow out your lines, because you do need to keep it tight. That's where Alex is going to get you. But take Speed advantage of what you have. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yep. All right. I, I was catching up with him and I was pushing. I got sloppy and I ended up in the Spanish moss. I had him in sight. I, I don't know if I could have reeled him in, but I had him in sight. You were there. You tried to pitch forward a little bit when you went. Yeah. You were I mean, on top of him, you this is not, not flying like a racer. No. It doesn't have enough up tilt. It just doesn't corner like a racer. So when I start really pushing it, it's just a little sloppy. I mean, when you crashed, you were literally right on top of him. You're yeah. going through the same V gap. I, I felt like I, I felt like I was reeling him in. All right, yeah. let's line him up again. So what's this? Thirty. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get ready to rumble, racers. Arm your quads in less than beat. I'm gonna beat him on this one. Oh no! Corey's down. Corey down. Yeah, 
smart that happens. Cordell. I thought that was Alex who was down. No. Alex is in the game. In the lead. Yeah, eight seconds ahead of him. Eight seconds. Eight. Even better now. Oh, he's pushing a little harder. Bardo's pushing a little harder. He's like. I, I, I went to land when Corey, when Corey went down. I thought Alex was down. And winner. Alex just squizzed it again. Wow. Hold on. Don't unplug. Let's see this thing pop. All I right, want to make sure pop. there's not something weird about your quad. There it goes. That doesn't even Three. count. That's Three. not even practically blowing. What kind of fuse did you get? Did you get fast he blow or slow blow? <laughs> I was flying at like this much throttle the entire time. I was just well, flying I'm efficiently. All right. I'm He's going down. That was a, that was a 30. We're going to 20. We're going to 20. That gives me a lot of confidence though because I was like at 10% throttle the entire flight. So to know like I can hold it full throttle for quite... Some time, like, it's gonna about, be easy. Well, you're about to go down in fuse size, though. It's gonna be easy, money. Hey, listen, the 20s okay. blow. The 20s blow a lot. They will blow? The 20s gonna blow. So, I'm really taking it. Be careful, the 20s where it's All right. supposed to blow. Alright, I'll be careful. Gonna... I screwed up. When I saw Corey go down, I was like, oh, we're gonna restart because somebody crashed out. And so I laid back and went to land. I want that in the episode. Okay. That's where that well, episode came from. You don't, you don't, we don't call, I'll call the restarts. You don't, okay, but I'll that's my them. mistake as, a, as yeah. an inexperienced racer. Would you say that you learned something today? I would say that you can suck my. Racers, arm your quad. In less than five. Wait, wait. Beep! <laughs> Three second lead already. First lap, he has three second lead. Oh, Corey's down. So Bardwell's behind you. Keep going, keep going. So eight, nine, ten second lead right now. Ten seconds. Finish up the lap. All right, Vanderbilt's coming in through the V. All right, finish up the slalom to the V. All right, one, two, three, four, five. Easy. Six. <laughs> hey, hey, you closed it. Closed he was full throttle at the end there. You see him lean? He's like, ah. Oh. Where's the 10? I feel right. like I'm only just starting to feel the throttle response to this quad. You just lost. I was in front of him, and then I caught this. For a this. second, you were ahead of me, but I knew you made I'm glad I stayed out of this episode. I'm glad I stayed out of this episode, because I didn't think they were going to do that bad. I mean, I'm a cameraman today, you know what I'm saying? So basically, because I know I can't beat him in the straights, I need to, to fly the corners really efficiently and time. Tight, not too tight to where I have to recover with a lot of power. And essentially, I'm lining up every next turn. That way, I don't have to move the throttle too much. So, it's arguably in some ways a bit slower, but it's a bit more efficient at the end of the day. Line them up, line them up, line them up. In less than five, go! Whoa, it died. Oh! It died. That didn't take anything. I was sinking, and I was like pulling back like this. That was no power, dude. That was really that like was I, the entire time I was just in an, uh, in a Harrier like this and it just died. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. We should we should have done 15. Yeah, should have done 15. Should have done 15. That was a 10. I think at 15 I'm gonna have to really be careful about how I turn, um, trying to make sure that I maybe go a bit wider, which will give these guys a chance to pass me. But that way I'm not pulling too many amps in my turn. In less than five. He is up on 15 amps. How's he doing? He's right in the pack right now. Looks like he's in second place behind. I can't tell. Oh, he just took the lead. Oh, you're still on top of him. He's in the dog side right now. Oh, in the lead. In the lead, take it easy. Barely in the lead, though. <laughs> the last one. Oh, he's down. We got a four second lead. Oh, four second lead. He's pushing. He's pushing. Oh, he's sloppy. He's pushing too hard. Breathe, son. Breathe. Five seconds. He's got. Keep going. Doing your deal. Got adrenaline. Here he comes. I want it. Go again. Rerun. That was it. Oh, died. <laughs> the yeah, moment it died I, on the, the clip? The, no, like the moment I just did that, Damn it died. Like I went, but boom. you did beat them on 15 amps. Yeah. Oh, I had him. I was with him. If I was racing clean, that's where 15 amps is where we. I'd keep up with you. But that, that's. Do you think right. you, you can, can take him on 10? Harder. I think I got it. I, I feel good now. My problem is I'm getting all flustered. I felt like I was right with him. I'm just. I'm getting all flustered and I'm hitting trees. I feel. I fly better than this. But you know what else he's got on us? Here's what else he's got on us. Whenever I race, the first three practice heats, 20, 25 laps, whatever it is, I'm sloppy as crap. And then I start to get it and lock it in. He's comfortable. He can learn a new track and just 
have it locked, know all the turns. We need about a half a day of practice, and then we'll have him. And a 10 amp fuse. And a 10 amp fuse. And we'll have him. 10 amp rematch. I'm, gonna, I'm going for it. You got this, man. You I got this. I'm going to destroy you. You're going down. I'm going to gap you really hard. You, you're not going to lap me. You. you are not going to lap me. I can actually me. turn. I can fly efficiently. The only thing you have is being able to hit full, th somewhat full throttle on this Full straight. throttle. That's I'm right. That's what I got. Full throttle. Full throttle. I'm going to full throttle. I'll put 20 on Barwell. Oh, no. Don't put no money on Barwell. Oh, no, 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 no this is it. This is well. This is a 10 amp rematch. So Alex, I mean, so whoever wins this win, this is for all the marbles right here. Racers, arm your beep. <laughs> oh, you got is he flying? Is he flying it? He's flying it. He didn't even get up. He's, last in, time. he's in third right now. Is he flying it? No. Nope. He's in third though. He's in third, and he's got like a uh, half second lap behind him. I have to get just finish the race, mate. Just finish the race. Wait, did he pass? He's in second now. He's in second? Are you kidding me? Corey, come on. Oh, he's back in third, though. He's back in third. Okay. Barlow's got a five second lead right now. Barlow, you're in the lead. Don't shut, shut the f up. <laughs> Six second lead. It's a battle between Corey and Vanover right now. They are neck and neck, non-stop, with Barbara way out. No! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh! All right, so 15 is where we can do it. Barbara wins. Oh, Barbara won that one. Legitimately I can't, I can't, I couldn't beat him out of 10. I just am glad I raced clean. Good job. I embarrassed myself. I can right do there. so much better than those first laps. Bring it, bring it. Good, good race. Good race, good race buddy. You race good race, buddy. You, you, you race, you race. Friday, you, you push, race you good. push. I was surprised that we were able to go down that low and still be able to keep the quad in the air at all. Honestly. I'm just happy I was so close. <laughs> yeah, well, you, a little uh, handicap in yeah, the front. But you guys flew good. I, I wanted a PC so bad. You know, if you're going to go out there and try and practice flying good lines, maybe trying something like this is a good way because throttle capping, in my opinion, just doesn't give you the same effect. I mean, I don't know. I think this is kind of, a, what do you think? Well, I think yes, because when you set a throttle cap, you are still using the whole range of your throttle. You're not forced to just keep it low. For me, that's the big difference. When I have a throttle cap and I'm using my whole throttle, I just can't fly because it's really weird. But I can fly slow, just down low in the range on the stick. There was a sense of consequence here, though, when you had the actual cap. That's or the true. Fuse holding you yeah. back. Because yeah. you have the full stick of range, full range with a throttle cap, but with with the uh, fuse, no, nah, there's a sense of consequence. Next yeah. time, I want to do it with like a blasting cap, <laughs> so that if you blow the fuse, your quad explodes. Your quad explodes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Real Next sense time. of consequence. It really shows though how talented these guys are. I mean, even at the with a cap. Or with a fuse in between, these guys are still blowing us away. Maybe it shows what punks we are. No, we're not that bad. They're just that damn good. I'm going to go. That's, that's what I'm going to tell myself way. when I, I cry myself to sleep tonight. It'll make me sleep way better. The quads that we're flying, the HD1 spec build, you can get those at the Rotor Riot store. You ain't even got to build them. You can build them if you want to, but you ain't got to. DJI right. goggles? Build, build, We got build. those too. And if you want to go fast, you want to run the best motors on the market, Hype Train, Vanifer Motors, and cameras are available in the Rotor Riot store. Links and everything in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching the episode. We loved making it for you. If you've got any other cool ideas for episodes for anything like this, put them in the comments. And you know what? Freestyle competition. We'll take you at freestyle. You want to go to it? Now? Oh let's go. Let's go. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. Nope, sorry. 1860 KV. We also like to call them the Vanessas sometimes. No, the Vanessas? No the that. Vanessa no, spinners. That's not making the episode. The what? Vanessa spinners. Vanessa spinners. Where's that from? Just cut that out, Christian. <laughs>